Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Richard and today I'll be talking to us about how to insert table of contents in our Word document. So I plan to make this video as short as possible. So I'll just go straight to the point. So I've asked ChatGPT to write me um, an essay on the biases of AI, the biases of AI. So I'll just paste it here. Um, I'm sure you can see them. So um, what's great? So I've not forget our focus is creating a table of con um a table of content. So let's just go straight to the point. Um, first of all, you have to format the document up to the standard you want it to be. Um, insert page break if needed. So let's assume that um you needed a table of content to be on the first page, so you can bring it here, and then so first of all you highlight those items that you want to be in the table of content. So let's go to home. And then you click on any of the headings here. I prefer to use heading one. So click on heading one. Then do the same thing for all other headings too. You can format it. Right? Format this. Format this. Which other one? Format this. Then format this. So yeah, we're done. If you have references, you do the same thing. So we can just bring them together so that our work looks neat. Um, don't forget our focus is on the table of content. I'm just doing this for presentation purpose. So let's think about um, the spaces in between so that's gonna be green. Yeah, so we are done with this part. So all you just have to do now is that if you want to, you can include the um, page number, but in this case, you don't really need the page number since it's not much. So you can come here, click on this part, and then go to references. Now, under references, you see the option for table of content. Click on table of content. You click on the design you want, then you can click on this. Automatically, it helps you to number your pages. Uh, sorry, it, it actually helps you to link up the page in which each of these items are. And this is a web link. Um, simply means that you can click on it to get to where you are going to. If I click on this now, it takes me to this place. If I click on conclusion now, right, it takes me to this place. So it makes sure your document looks like a web page. Right, so I can move this insert page break to the next page so that I can have a plain page for that table of content. Then I can decide to even add my page number. So let me just do my page number, insert um, page number, bottom, and then somewhere here. So I'm good. So I can easily see all the pages. Now, don't forget, this is one of, one of the benefits of this. Look at the conclusion, it's now on page four, right? And um, our table of content is showing page three. So what you just simply have to do is click on this. Click on update table, update the entire table automatically. You can see it changes to the actual page number that, that is. So for those people that are writing dissertation, writing research or reports, maybe it's my own business report. So you don't have to be typing out your table of content one after the other. All you just have to do is make sure that you format this in line with what you want to achieve. Right? You can just click on highlight this and then uh, I want it to be formatted in line with every other one. So you're good. So that's how to add a table of contents. Um, I hope you've learned something from this today. Um, do well to like and share this content with your family and friends. Cheers.